There he is. Hey, Brandon. Hey, everyone. I don't know why I wasn't getting the login, but <laughs> we're all in. I said, Monica, how do I not have it of all people? But uh, we're all in now, which is great. Um, thank you, everyone, for, for uh, joining the training yesterday. I thought that uh, uh, I thought it was it was awesome. You know, I, I, I feel like we really was, enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. You look like you did. <laughs> You look like you did. So we, we, um, you know, obviously we have another one tonight. I um, did have a uh, a, meet, a presentation with Bell Phillips today, so I was able to uh, practice a little bit with those guys and we were really engaged. Uh, they enjoyed the the breathing exercises, so I'm excited to share it with Monica. Monica, you'll be able to use it with uh, your practice as well. Um, you know, it was, it was really good. I, I thought it was great. So we're, um, uh, you all are welcome to join this evening and, and we'll see how it all pans out. Um, on some um, uh, positive news to, to, you know, to keep us up to date, uh, we uh, meet with uh, uh, Bell Phillips, I'm sorry, Milwaukee County tomorrow uh, regarding the, the awards that we received. Uh, which is nice. So we'll be able to uh, start invoicing them and going along with that process. Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, uh, which is which is fantastic news. Uh, I'm hopeful, um, you know, that they can start that process sooner than later. Uh, it was uh, made aware to me today uh, that the kids uh, are are um, also aware that we received the grant. And so they were asking, you know, what type of duties they'll be doing this summer, uh, if they'll be, you know, working in the garden or if they'll be, um, you know, doing, uh, you know, some of the plumbing, et cetera. So I, I gave them some descriptions of the activities that we have planned. And as things, um, you know, started to button up, we'll be able to share with them more. We also um, were introduced to an organization uh, Maxwell has the phone, but I have their contacts. And they do similar work uh, with the training and, um, for the apprenticeships, like what we're doing with, um, uh, like what we're doing with um, uh, Teams Grow Greens. Uh, so they're really, uh, they're established. They've been around since 1991, uh, but their main focus is our trades. Um, so the kids were, were really stoked. They actually shared uh, the organization with us. So uh, we'll be setting up times to meet with them and, and see how we can all collaborate and, and you know, just make it a great um, a time for, for everyone to participate. Um, we do have, uh, um, uh, Jim knows this already, I purchased the uh, lead um, uh, test from, uh, um, from one of the, um, one of the uh, companies that Dorothea's uh, connected us with. Uh, so we did purchase the, the test to, to test the lead. So when that arrives, we'll be able to uh, see what uh, the samples I have, bless you mother, from, um, from the Dominican Center. Uh, so that looks really good and, and excited to get that uh, mm -hmm. up and running and, and get some results back. Did they give you any idea when they would be available? Well, they they, uh, they said in two weeks, um, you know, everyone's saying it's a delay, but uh, because they're here in the Midwest, hopefully we'll be able to get it sooner than that. But they said within two weeks, we'll be able to get the package in. Uh, so, yeah, that, that is definitely positive news. Um, what else we have here? Uh, Jim, I did see the message come through about the, uh, I wasn't able to, to make the meeting yesterday uh, for doctor's appointments, but if you can mm -hmm. give us an update on how that went. Sure. Sure. Uh, basically, uh, what Sylvia talked about is kind of where we are right now. And uh, one thing that she suggested, and I wanted to mention this to everybody, is the fact that as we go through the summer, or let's just say May through September, October, we should seriously consider documenting the uh, training programs that we do and put it into, let's just say, a course line, course outline that could be utilized for uh, 
future training programs. It might be used for a certification program. It could even be used for an apprenticeship program. But uh, the uh, core, she used the word core competencies. We, we should, you know, say, say what they are. For instance, I'll, I'll pick on the domes for a second. Uh, there are about 10 core competencies that a person should learn as they go through the summer months. And uh, could that, you know, at a later date be put into uh, some type of a program? Could it be in integrated with, and what they talked about is integrating it in with uh, like MATC, okay. where uh, uh, some type of credit could be available or uh, a certificate provided something as such. So uh, the where we left it is everybody should kind of work on those uh, main areas. And sometime during the summer, we're going to reconvene and see if each organization, Pep Nation, Teens Go Green, Victory Garden Initiative, uh, uh, what's the other one I'm thinking of? Uh, help me, Brandon. Um, UW Extension, Groundworks. Groundworks, Groundworks. The, the thought was each of us could take a 10-minute slot or longer and kind of go through what we did during the summer months and share that and see if we could uh, see if there's any synergy between the different organizations. I'm sure there will be, but, you know, that was the thought. Okay, you got to plug it up, buddy. So I th it was a positive meeting. Uh, I, I think Sylvia is doing a really a nice job, uh, you know, pulling, let's just say, all the cows together. And uh, I think something will come of it as uh, as this unfolds during the uh, summer months. Uh, okay, that's fantastic news. And then about the um, the message about the uh, compost. Yeah. Uh, I got an email back from uh, 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 from one of the gals at uh, who's in charge of the greenhouse, indicating that they would sell us compost in bags. Okay. Uh, I was hoping that as we do those first couple of domes or three domes on 18th and Locust, if we really want to do a good job, instead of buying it in bags is expensive. I'd really like, they were talking about selling soil at $40 a yard. And I'm just saying two yards would do, probably do everything that we would need for at least the domes to set them up as uh, showcases, training program, training areas, things as such, where a person could say, hey, I want one of those type of deal. So, so, so rather than, oh, so you're saying they, they already have them bagged. So it, it no, like, they get, they get it in bags. Oh, okay. They get oh. it. Uh, yeah. They get it in bags. Okay. So, is it, so is, is, is an option to get it in yards or that's something that we have? Well, to I guess what I've got to do is call, uh, call them and find out. I mean, I can't believe that they wouldn't want to do it. Right. Did you have a chance to talk to uh, Andrew over the weekend? I didn't. Yeah. Okay, because he was, I know I talked to him on Saturday at, for quite a long period of time, and then he uh, uh, was trying to schedule a meeting with you to put that in perspective and uh, go from there. Yeah, I know he wants to get started. Um, and perhaps I can give him a shout after we get done with our training tonight. I thought he was actually going to be on the training, but... Uh, I can reach back out to them and, and sure, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. and and I still like your idea. You know, we've got one dome built. You know, he could build a dome like he's been building them, and uh, I would. I'm still planning on building one. You know, like I've been talking about. Let's just call, call it this low cost model. So we would have three domes, and you know, as I mentioned to you, put aside uh, May six, uh, May eighth. To build that, build it. Okay. I think I'm just going to buy the materials and uh, bring them down there and 
we can cut them up and drill them and put it together. Okay. Okay. Sounds like the plan. Um, the, uh, oh, it sounds like the plan. I, I, yeah. Uh, yeah. I do have a couple notes here for, for Andrew too. There, um, um, so that, that's, that seems to be the, the update is, and we just need to know basically when we can get started with Andrew to build the, the next one. And then we'll see how we go for, uh, yeah. yeah. He'd like to build one in April. Yes. Uh, today is April 14th. So there's, you know, about two weeks left. And if one, if he could build his by May 1st, then we can build that third one when I get back. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. What do you think of that, Maxwell? <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. He likes it. No, it's okay. That sounds good. Well, let's. He'll, he'll probably chime in for the next couple minutes, and then we can see if we can get get him on. Um, sounds good. Secondly, I did have a call with Elizabeth Sutton. Um, I know Dorothy is driving back to Mississippi now, uh, so we'll see if we can get that scheduled for the for UWF. Just a second, okay? See if we can get that scheduled with UWM. And uh, so so figure out what their plan is. Yes, figure out what their plan is for testing and how they'll be able to support um, uh, with, with their professors. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, we still haven't heard anything back from uh, Employ Milwaukee, you know, regarding the... Um, regarding the earn and learn kids, and I know I don't know if you were CC'd on that gym or if Dorothea was CC. I don't remember seeing anything. Okay, um, let's, let's let's reach. We'll reach back out to them because they should have at least by now. You know, it's already April. Um, I know the big thing with them is determining how much funding they're going to have available. Yeah, um, Dorothea did, I actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Were you I, I was going to say, I, I did remember being CC'd on something and he said at a month, he said in March, you know, wait, wait a while type of deal. I think that was the last email we got. Right. Okay. So we can, we can do a follow up, um, just to see how, how that's going to work. If, you know, if that funding is going to be available, I know with the, uh, uh, the funds that we're going to meet with them about tomorrow, that is supposed to help uh, pay the young people, um, with that grant that we have. Uh, she said that there's going to be some uh, funding for applications, et cetera. Um, so we'll see, you know, how that all pans out. Um, you know, for uh, mm -hmm. we'll find out what the details are as far as you know the the money and how to invoice and how to kind of uh, mm -hmm. spread it out there. Um, uh, let's see here. There, um, Dorothea came up with a great idea about a, a partnering with the organization. It's a, a father uh, organization, uh, I think a fatherhood organization, uh, regarding uh, the funds that we have through. Um, uh, in Port Milwaukee as well. Dorothy, can you give, can you give us a little update on that with uh, uh, what you suggested? Sure, I missed my turn, but they didn't let me over. They were trying to, somebody sped up to try to keep me from coming over, so I missed my turn. But so are you coming rate, back to um, Milwaukee? No, sir, I'm, I'm just leaving Milwaukee. I was in Milwaukee on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and this morning. Okay. Um, I'm about two hours away from my home in Mississippi, but um, like I said, they um, they um, they didn't let me get on my turn. <laughs> <laughs> this is my second time getting lost today. I don't know what what's wrong with me, and I I do this in my sleep, but I'm on um I'm on my tenth hour of driving. Ooh, but at any rate, um. There's an organization called My Father's House, and what they do is they generally work. It's a father or, uh, organization where fathers get out. Because it's, Wisconsin is kind of one of those states that, um, for the lack of a, a better term, kind of caters to the mother. Uh, fathers have fewer, kind of fewer, I don't know, unless the mother is just really, really a crappy mom, she gets most of the rights. And I have to be honest about that. That's how I feel. So there's this organization called My Father's House. And what they do is they bridge gaps between fathers and their children. And so um, Mr. Holmes was my coach 
my track coach back when I weighed about 128. <laughs> and um, basically, um, basically, you know, I have a relationship with him, and he he is kind of starting all over again. So I suggested to him that he gets in contact with Ms. Brown over at Employee Milwaukee for his organization, but partner with our organization so that the kids that they do work with have an outlet in a relationship with the parents. So the parents are getting paid to work with their children. And it kind of serves two purposes for us because we need the children. And if we can pay parents, that would be great. So hopefully that works out. So we're trying to get a meeting together um, next week sometime when I'm back in town. Sounds good. Now, Thank you. And any any feel for how large the organization is? Um, they were dismantled. They lost all of their federal funding, so they're kind of moving at it again. Okay. Yeah. Right now, he took out a um, small businessman's loan so that he can keep it going. Um, but they're renting the office. That might be another option, too, if we want to um, share an office with them, office space at some point, you know, just to save money and have a storefront. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you guys, I'm going to sign off a minute because I keep turning the wrong way. I'm no going to come back. Go right ahead. Okay, bye-bye. Go ahead. Bye-bye. Uh, on a, on another note, you know, regarding the, um, uh, the corner store and that activity, we meet with, uh, their team tomorrow, uh, for, excuse me, uh, tomorrow just for a recap with the, uh, construction team, catalyst, uh, construction and, uh, the staff from, um, The staff from Link organization. Um, as far as I know, things are, are still progressing, but we'll we'll have additional updates uh, for you all uh, following that meeting. As far as you know, what they have from the land samples that they took, uh, and where we are moving forward with that project for the grocery store. Um, uh, regarding the grants that we filled out, I don't have any updates uh, as of yet for uh, either of them. I know that the uh, Monica, is there? Was there a dead, um, not a deadline, but uh, was there a timeline as far as when we should hear back from uh, the grant that you completed? Not that I can think of at this time. Okay, uh, I'm assuming that most of these funds will be available, um, uh, you know, by or before uh, June. So. You know, I'm hopeful that we should hear something this month. If I'm not mistaken, at least the one from the city and the one from uh, the ones we did earlier in March, uh, we were supposed to hear back at least uh, by April. Uh, but again, I had uh, the one that Jim sent over about the uh, um, um, urban gardening or, or right. uh, yeah, I think we're supposed to hear back by, by this month, but I have, I've yet to receive the email um, uh, as of yet. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, uh, I do, you know, we have talked about that in the past as far as uh, what you're saying with Sylvia in the meeting uh, with MATC and getting, uh, uh, because Dorothea worked at MATC for some time, uh, getting her to lead that charge so we can start mm-hmm. diving into that more uh, here in the next couple of weeks to uh, to make that happen to see what's going to be the, the natural um, uh, process. I'm hopeful also that the organization that they introduced us to uh, today, uh, that they may be already in that space and mm-hmm. you know, we can just follow suit. And go okay. On. Okay. Does anybody know Senator Taylor? Hmm. I do. Okay. The reason I'm mentioning it, uh, her name was mentioned in the meeting yesterday. Uh, by Sylvia from Teens Grow Green because she is a strong proponent of urban agriculture. And in fact, there's... Um, some- yes, yeah, she is. She's connected with um, 
um, they're doing some. Brandon, what is the name of that company that um, that project that um, Terrence Ray was talking about? Yeah, let me see if I can pull it. Up. Hydroponics. Well, they they they're doing a hydroponics uh, uh, program. Let me see if I can pull it up here. Terrence, Terrence Green, aquaponics. I, I aquaponics or yeah. hydroponics? Let me double check. Ter if it's, it's Terrence Green. Hydroponics. Huh? Terrence Green. Terrence Ray. He and I went to high school together. And Lena, I've known her since high school. She went to high school with my brother. His last oh. name is Ray, R-A-Y. Okay. Okay. I um I don't see it, but he um he is uh he is you know directly connected as Dorothea said with with uh, uh, Senator Taylor. She's worked with us in the past on uh, the lead abatement work, because she she stands behind that as well. And um, Terrence. Uh, was on the last call with uh, um, he was on the last call with Sylvia, Sylvia and I. I don't know if you were on that call, uh, but but yeah. So there is a tie-in with with Lena Taylor. She's also done. She also did one of our first videos uh, by Weird Dorothea for the for the interviews. Um, so she she's well aware of us and what we do, and and I know she'll be um, mm -hmm. supporting any way she can. Well, if the opportunity ever uh, avails itself, uh, Dorothea, it would be great to get her over and see those domes when they're constructed. I think the proof would be in the pudding. I think Terrence is her um, assistant right now. So if we can get his ear. Um, okay. You know, she wouldn't be overburdened. No, that'd be good. I, I I thought something else was interesting. I I think it's um, with this with the with the county is going to you know that's going to help us out a lot with the exposure for the uh, um, for the dome. Uh, you know, one of the kids said you know the last uh, um, uh, program they went through for the youth and family services. He said they were learning about getting jobs at McDonald's and uh, some other kind of fast food restaurant. He said anything but fast food he'll be interested in. So <laughs> <laughs> I think that should be. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, let, let me finish up, okay? I got you. I got you. We're going to have to start growing French fries. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, but he, he really. Uh, yeah, actually, you can, you can use. Uh, he, he, he was really stoked about getting involved. So um, the sooner, you know, like I said, once I have information from them tomorrow, uh, then I can share with you guys and, and uh, uh, for the next meeting and see how, how it's all going to play. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Um, any other uh, thoughts or uh, things that I missed? Now, if you could touch base with uh, Andrew, I think that would help us put this, you know, this initial uh, surge that we want to do on the domes together. Okay. Um, and I'll contact. Question. Um, yes. Yes. Okay, this is Dorothy. I have a question for Jim. Okay, um, Jim, you indicated that um, that you wanted to um, determine the core curriculum or core core competencies that the kids are to learn for each semester. For which program? Uh, relative to what we're doing on 18th and uh, Locust, uh, relative to the okay. domes. And, and I'll be honest with you, I wrote the 10, 10 down as, 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 a, as a one, one sentence each. I mean, it's not fully developed whatsoever, but it, uh, it, it, it entails everything basically that if you knew all this stuff, let's just say at the end of the summer, I, I think it would be a feather in your cat in your hat and i think it should be uh so recognized in some in some f fashion because generally that comes out of the state if there are some classes that have already been developed within mat 
see, I don't know how that would work. Um, well, MATC, MATC, okay. yeah, MATC, Dorothea, okay. in the meeting was focusing more on uh, culinary skills and, uh, well, mostly towards culinary skills, uh, not necessarily growing stuff. That's why Teens Grow Green has got this uh, uh, apprenticeship and basically uh, uh, starting the seedlings in greenhouses. I mean, and uh, they've defined, and I'll forward that email that I got. And you might have got it also, uh, Brandon, from yeah. Sylvia, uh, showing what what other people have done. And I'm just saying, I think it behooves us as Pep Nation to to also do the same. Mm -hmm. I, and uh, in addition to that, yeah, for, for that partnership is 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 culinary, and MATC does have an amazing culinary program. So in association with Teens Grow Greens and, and this growing, uh, yeah, that makes sense because they do the cooking and we, we promoted that through Pep TV, et cetera. But um, in addition, the plumbing, the, uh, the elect, uh, electrician, all those trades, we know MATC has a stronghold on and, and, you know, should be a, uh, an environmental. Yeah, environmental, you know, all those, uh, area, yeah, environmental is, is, uh, definitely more towards the Teens Grow Greens, you know, that, uh, that partnership, uh, you know, kind of testing the, uh, the soil, soil tests and things like that. But, you know, in association to the, just the trades and the exposure apprenticeships, I think that, you know, they'll, they'll be a perfect fit. Like I said, the, yeah. Or, yeah. So yeah, that, that'll be great. Um, there was something else that you were going to, oh, um, I, I did, uh, the kids also, uh, wanted to tell you that they, uh, really enjoy, uh, the videos that they, they say they watch each and, each and every one. They say that they have watched them multiple times, according to Doug. Um, and they said they were great. He said, but there's nothing like having the, you know, someone in, um, face to face. You know, mm -hmm. but, um, mm -hmm. uh, for um, for the purposes of exposing uh, young people to adults and uh, different industries, they thought it was great. They really appreciated it, and you know, want to see more. So uh, they were thankful to have that and excited to do it. Um, hey, Brandon, do we send thank you notes to those folks? Uh, that's that was uh, a part of the next steps with uh, not just thank you notes, but asking them to do the part two. Um, we have not, if I'm not mistaken, Monica, I don't think we have sent those out yet, uh, but that can be something that we can get done here uh, within the near future. Brandon, when you mentioned you had you had these conversations with the kids today or yesterday, who are who are these? Uh... So um, so today we we met with um, um, uh, the kids. Bless you, the kids at the Bell Phillips Juvenile Correctional Center. So these were okay. many of the young people that worked with us this summer. Um, this was the first summer that we got a chance to actually, bless you, work with them uh, once they were uh, released from the Juvenile Correctional Center, uh, which is why we were able to, um, you know, uh, get awarded those dollars. So they want to elaborate on the program. You know, as I mentioned before, uh, those dollars also allow us to, you know, eventually one day do the, the mixed use housing with the college students, kids to age out of foster care, and young professionals uh, to work together. So um, today we spoke about real estate. Um, the kids were very engaged. They, they asked a ton of questions. Um, you know, they, they, they were ready. They were ready for us. Um, mm -hmm. Literally asking, you know, what's the difference between uh, commercial and, and residential and, and mm -hmm. You know, mixed use properties. Um, it, it was, you know, I was great, 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 great. How many were in this class? Each each class has about twelve students. Okay. Um, in the past, you know, Monica and Melissa have gotten the chance to work with them actually in their classrooms, uh, and we're supposed to start that back up in May, um, which which would be good. So, um, hopefully, we'll uh, be able to get back in there and, and get some of the other staff. Uh, engage with those young people as well, but they sounds they, good. Yeah, they they really encourage. You know, I mean, it's been a while since we've been in. We haven't been there since 
since the top of the year when COVID started 2020. So to be back was, was really, really wonderful and they were happy for us. Um, uh, uh, lastly, I, I did, I guess this is a message for Monica, but I did get your, um, your first uh, reference call came in uh, yesterday. So I was able to get that done. All right, well, if, if there's nothing else, you guys are all welcome to, to join us tonight uh, for uh, the second uh, part of our breathing exercise. Um, you know, we have some, some good notes here, some things to follow up on. And uh, I'll touch base with you all again this week um, uh, to see where we are. And I'll give you Andrew a call now. Great. Brandon, can okay. you send that link to me, please, sir? Because I don't see it. Okay, I'll send it. I'll send it. Thank okay. you. No problem. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. You guys all have a good one. Okay, have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.